wild forest of Papua New Guinea. The rare and elusive Matchies tree kangaroo makes its home, high up in the misty tree canopy. The Matchies tree kangaroo is only found in Papua New Guinea, and in fact, it's only found on one peninsula. It's called the Huon Peninsula. The biggest threat to tree kangaroos um, is habitat loss, and then also for some species, it's overhunting. The people of Papua New Guinea on the Huon Peninsula lead a subsistence life depending on crops from their gardens and meat from animals they raise and hunt, including the tree kangaroo. In 1996, the Tree Kangaroo Conservation Program started as a field research project on tree kangaroos and their habitat by Dr. Lisa Daybeck. What we're trying to understand in our field research, the behavior of tree kangaroos and how they use their forest, because that helps us to know how much land to protect. The Tree Kangaroo Conservation Program has expanded into a model program for community-based conservation. Working with the local villagers and government, they are establishing a conservation area the first of its kind in Papua New Guinea, to ensure protection for tree kangaroos and other endangered and endemic species. The Huon Peninsula is considered a high priority area for conservation efforts due to its rich biodiversity, vast amounts of intact rainforest, and lack of protected areas. This land has a unique tenure system over 95% of Papua New Guinea is owned by the indigenous people. We are working to create the first <laughs> conservation area in Papua New Guinea. What a conservation area means is that the local landowners, so in this case, the community on the Huon Peninsula, is saying, we are setting our land aside and there will be no hunting, no mining from outside companies. And we will create management plans for our protected area. In return for their commitment to conservation, the Tree Kangaroo Conservation Program works with the community to improve education and health care in their villages. They are working with the youth community, creating a community-based organization to manage the protected area of 150,000 acres. The Tree Kangaroo Conservation Program is supporting the local community through education and health care projects. They have sponsored students from the villages to continue their studies at a teacher's college in Papua New Guinea, resulting in more teachers in the village schools. The education project with the teachers was to give more opportunities for the teachers to teach about conservation and try to connect their studies with learning about the environment. <laughs> Each year, the Tree Kangaroo Conservation Program hosts a workshop for village teachers. There, they gain skills in teaching methods and are given conservation education curricula to use in their classroom. We came up with a plan, a scholarship program, for local students from the villages to go to teachers' college in town with the agreement that they would then go back to their own communities and teach for at least six years. The Tree Kangaroo Conservation Program also partners with U.S. doctors and healthcare professionals in Papua New Guinea to provide access and equipment for medical care. The program works to improve the health of the community by funding village health patrols and training of village healthcare workers. The program, called Healthy Village, Healthy Forests, recognizes the link between human health and environmental health. I've seen good conservation work, good community conservation work. This is a stellar example of community conservation and environmental conservation. Woodland Park Zoo and Conservation International are working hand in hand 
to create a conservation endowment for the work in Papua New Guinea. And what that means is there will actually be sustainable funding to support the local people working to manage this protected area. When I think of a smart ways to spend conservation dollars, I look at this example and see it as the cutting edge of conservation. The Tree Kangaroo Conservation Program has been this opportunity to really learn about the importance of science, the importance of conservation work, the importance of working together. And so I think the Tree Kangaroo Conservation Program can leave that legacy of true community-based conservation. Thank you.